Hey everyone, welcome to the Imperial Outpost. As always, it's good to have you along. Now, what I've got here is, for me, rather special. It's the Rebel Alliance Y-Wing Bomber, or Y-Wing Starfighter. It, uh, I, I, I know it as, as, as the Bomber, um, but you can, obviously it is known as, a, it generally is a Starfighter that doubles up as a Bomber. Now, what's special about this one is that it's the Gold Leaders Y-Wing fighter, which the Gold Leader during A New Hope was Dutch. Um, his actual name was John Vander. Now, unfortunately here, I've got um, Wedge Antilles. I don't actually have a... Um, a Dutch figure yet, so uh, he's just going to be used for the time being until I get uh, the Dutch figure. Now, I'll give you a background of the Y-Wing, and then I'll give you a background of the gold leader, Dutch Vander, that, that pilots this vehicle. Now, you saw the Y-Wings used in the Clone Wars, they were used extensively for dogfights and for bombing runs against capital ships and the ground targets because they are heavily shielded as well, which which makes them great for, for bombing runs. Now, the Y-Wings are often overshadowed by newer models such as X-Wings and A-Wings, A-Wings being the faster of, of the three and more manoeuvrable. But the Y-Wing's historical importance is quite remarkable. Um, it has reliably served multiple generations of pilots and is just an overall excellent, excellent vehicle. Excellent vehicle. Now, the guy, or should I say, the, the pilot that... that Pilots this particular vehicle, as I said, is uh, Dutch, or his, his name is John Vander. Now, he was a former Imperial pilot who defected when he was ordered to bomb rebel friendly areas of his home planet. Hence, why he uh, defected to the Rebel Alliance. Now, as a gold leader in Rebellion, he obviously flies a Y-Wing, this one here as we see, and commands a squad squadron of gifted pilots. Unfortunately, during the New Hope, the, um, we, we, we saw him attacking the Death Star in the trench run, which um, caused his death, as we know. Vader came down with his uh, uh, two TIE pilots uh, from behind and destroyed them, which was a shame because it would have been nice to have carried on seeing um, Dutch. Red Leader, this is Gold Leader. We're starting our attack run. Take off for a marked and locked in. <laughs> Control power to front. Deflect the screen. Switch all power to front. How many guns do you think, though? Five? Which two? Targeting you. Three marks at 210. Put a over. Stay on target. We're too close. Stay on target. <laughs> Yes, unfortunately, um, he only lasted till the first Death Star. So now let's take a closer look at the ship. So we have here nice, nice detail. Okay, I, I, I do like, like the weathering on this. Uh, they've done a, a great job. In, in the weathering, which actually saves me a job of uh, weathering it myself. 
And now this one comes, it's got the front cannons on here that don't move there. They stay as they are. We have a rotating top cannon. Okay. Now the earlier models of, of these, uh, this cannon actually you could um, automatically move it, press a button and it would move itself. But uh, obviously this is a, a later model and uh, uh, they've, they've taken that, that electronic movement away. But then nonetheless, it's uh, it's really good. And to open the hatch, which what I like is it actually comes off at the side like that. And if we take a closer look, so obviously, you know, we, we have to move the gun to, to open the hatch there. But if we take a closer look inside, really, really nice detail of the stickers there. Um, good thing about this is that uh, the stickers are, are already pre-installed. Pre so that's that, that's really nice. I do like the uh, smoked windscreens there. Okay. So let's pop wedge in. And he sits in like that and locks up. And there you can see him in there, which is which is great. Okay. Now we have a droid. This is a an R5 model, which incidentally is my favorite model of uh, droids. My favorite droid being R5 D4. Um, the head swivels, but doesn't come off. Um, the early models, you could actually take the whole droid out and put another droid in if you if you wanted to, but uh, they've decided just to to keep this one. Uh, in the vehicle, but that that's nice. You can move that. Now we have two buttons: one here and one here. This one, if you look underneath, you'll see this here is for a bomb. So when you press that, it opens and closes to release the bomb. I do have a bomb here with me, which I had to order because this um, didn't, didn't come with one. So here is the bomb. And basically what we do, we just clip it, clip it under there. And there you go. It's holding the bomb there. And it looks, looks quite nice. And as I say, press a button and it releases a bomb. So... This one here is a slide button, and this is for the landing gear. So back and forth. So if you can see, landing gear here, back, oh, oh, up and down. Um, unfortunately, this front one for me is a bit loose, so it doesn't fully, fully retract there. But uh, I'm, I'm not worried too much about that. So let's have a look at the underneath while, while we're at it. Again, nice detail in here. Everywhere. Really, really nice. I do like the yellow, obviously, being the gold. Um, I think they've done a great, great job to this, this model. Fantastic. If we have a look at the back engines, nice orange parts there which uh, really stand out i'm liking that nice uh, burn marks around there so overall really really good looking looking vehicle but you're wondering okay that's nice but it's not complete it's missing some parts and you'll be right we're actually missing the back parts of the engine Basically, I picked this up from um, a site, from a, a selling site, and a uh, really good price. I managed to pick it up for £23, hence, because of the uh, missing parts, hence the price. So it was missing the 
uh, engine struts here, as, as I've said, and the bomb. But I was lucky enough to find a, a, a company online um, that supplies the bomb, 3D. It, it uh, 3D makes the bombs, which is great. And I have here all the struts as well to make it complete, which is fantastic. Um, these cost me uh, £10, which is fantastic considering, you know, um, these are hard to find. Uh, I know there's a website, um, sorry, there's a YouTube channel that, that, that I watch and um, uh, he's saying he's had his for 10 years and he, you know, he, he finds it difficult to find these parts. But um, yeah, I was lucky enough to to find these. So yeah, what we're going to do, I'm going to connect these up and we can have a closer look when the vehicle's all finished. Now, I'll put that bomb away for side for a minute. So, to connect these struts on, okay, be very careful because uh, they can e easily break, but we have a little, little lug here, okay, that actually fits in this part here, okay, and this end here fits in there, okay, so you've got two there, one, two, and then two more underneath. So we we put these on first, and it's a case of just slipping it in, and it just clips on as such. Okay, that's the first one. So I'll uh, carry on and fit all these struts on, and then when they're fitted on, we'll go ahead and connect the back part of the engine. So guys, here it is. I have finished putting the struts on, and what a difference that does make to the overall look of the ship. One of the best, in my opinion, of the Rebel fleet. Until the next video, long live the Empire.